And hello and welcome back for more Mass Effect. Now, I did uh, off-screen do quite a lot of selling as you might tell. I don't have too much of items left. I do have something that I saved. For example, I was thinking that I will be using grenades uh, instead of dealing damage. I will be having them to reduce the enemy accuracy. And I also installed similar item to my pistol, so the things that happened in previous episodes won't be happening so much again. Just trying to avoid that. And um, also I saved some of the ammo and some of the armor upgrades in case I will be needing them sooner or, or later. And I also did gear up pretty much all of my crew members with the best items that I could find for now. For example, uh, Liara, since I'm using her more, more as a uh, uh, spellcaster, so she has a cool, good cooldown bonus on her attacks. And I was thinking that I might be giving actually the combat sensor from my weapon to hers uh, once I can find something better to use on my own pistol and so on. Since uh, Liara will be one of my permanent uh, party members in this game, and um, as you can see, there is no more locker between. Ashley and Karis, and you might guess whose locker that was from before. As for mm, Ashley, she has way better armor, and also she has pretty good weapons and so on, so I might be using her at some point too. And basically, Rex and, uh, Rex and Ashley, they are very similar to each other. They have pretty much the same type of uh, abilities and so on, so I don't see any reason why I should pick them both at the same time, unless I want some weapon experts in my team. And uh, Garrus uh, is more of an actually sniper than anything, and he has also a new armor, not that great, but it's better than what she, he used to have. And I still have plenty of money, even though I bought quite a lot of stuff, but I sold most of my stuff anyways, so... Uh, but while I was actually trying uh, to talk around people here, I noticed that uh, Tali might have something more to say. So let's go talk to her. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, uh, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Sterin's our top priority. But with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and so, I'm his only child. Yeah, does that make uh, her a royalty or something? So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up, but it's not all good. People like my father have enemies, and they're not above using me to get to him. That must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. 
Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Saren, then I'll worry about my own problems. Yeah, I'm sure she will be finding something eventually. But for now, let's just uh, keep fighting the good fight and uh, see what's going to come from it. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But Sounds now, I'm like old it enough too. to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it. Not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Yeah. I want to talk well, about something else. As for now, what? I don't think there's actually anything that we haven't seen it before. I should so, go. that was interesting to know, at least. Now, what should we do? We have uh, pretty much our hands all open again and uh, we could go almost anywhere we please for now. I think uh, I might actually go visit the uh, Earth's moon. It sounds interesting to see Earth in this game. So yeah, I might just do that. And after that, I think it could be a good time to actually pay visit back to the Citadel. Haven't been there for a while and there might be some stuff I can buy or upgrade. Uh, Weaponry and so on. Let's see. Journal. Where was it again? It's this one. There is, as you can see, there is so many side quests for me to do. But for now, let's go to the local cluster and find the Earth's moon from there. And yeah, I went and opened a couple of these. As you can see, we have already been here before. So I was here, gearing up my people and so on. Let's see, there is the local cluster. So let's head there. And there is the soul. And as you can see, it's the only, only, uh, what's it called? Only star system in that area. Just like in the real life, there isn't actually much of other stars near the soul. And do they have it? Do they have it? Yes, they have Pluto. That's most important thing, seriously. Pluto is still a planet for us who were born before 2000. I want to go visit Pluto first. 
Oh. Let's see what it says. Interesting, it was uh, recirculized. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Neptune next. Anything I can harvest? Nope. Could be interesting to read all of this, but let's uh, not do it right now. If you want, you can always pause the video on the descriptions and so on, because there isn't actually anything below them. Let's see. Nothing to harvest. How oh, boring. Anything on Mars? Ooh, there is actually... Hmm. Okay, so there is some uh, uh, population actually on Mars as well. <laughs> but yeah, once, once people found out how to do the faster than light travel, uh, it was easy for people to just get to the other star systems and so on and there is 800 people living in Venus as well <laughs> as for Earth there is 11.4 billion people living there so yes uh, these planets are actually still working and there is people living on Earth and so on, so I'm really hoping that in some future games we will be able to visit there. But for now, let's head to the place where we are supposed to go. That being the Luna. Um, let's take Liara and uh, yeah, we'll take Talia as well. Our normal type of crew. And there's the earth. <laughs> now there is some debris, debris there. Let's go there first. I see earth. There's the sun and there is the earth. Looks so pretty from here. So one step, one small step for a uh, Mako, <laughs> and a huge leap for something else. Don't really care. <laughs> I shouldn't even start saying anything. There. Let's see what can I find from here. Oh, and also, I did uh, go and check. Uh, my talent points and so on. So as you can see, I decided to actually go for the Paragon route. After all, I will be trying to get both of the Renegade and Paragon to quite high points in some reasonable options. I won't be going to destroy half of the mankind to be able to become a rene Renegade. That's not my way of doing things, but. I also took max of the electronics and decryption, so now there shouldn't be anything I cannot unlock. And also, I noticed that you have to actually check on your crew members to be able to get them to wear. If they, for example, get better armors, uh, neither of these actually can. But um, if they can get the better armors, you have to actually check them before you can, for example, get them to wear heavy armors or so on, or medium armors. Let's see, there is some. Cover me. <laughs> some deep right here. Ooh, it's a Luna satellite. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, god damn it. Ah. Fine, let's use Omnichel. Oh, nice. Better medical interface. Um, I'm still not sure if I should be using it, but for now this really does help. Oh, and it also increases toxin resistance. That is really good. 
super fine. So glad I came here. And then let's go to the Alliance Trading Ground. Hmm. Yeah, let's go over that wall. Why not? Oopsie. Just going slightly st sideways so we get the maximum speed at the same time. Oh, there is uh, some red dots already. So it seems that they are those defensive systems are actually waiting for us. Uh oh. Oop. First one down. And second turret tower down. Oh. Oh yeah, I wanted to always do this too. Come on, shoot me. Whip. <laughs> Whip. That's the way we we deal with the rockets. Uh, that I have seen, so let's check this place first. Heading out. Now this should be a pretty dangerous place. Well let's hope it's nothing we can't deal with. Pistols, more stuff to sell. Oh. I wonder what's the point of that. Well, at least I'm ge getting level 6 weapons already. That should be good. Let's leave those for now, I think. Or should I destroy them? Ah, uh, let's just destroy them. Because I'm thinking that those might help us to shut down the facility. Okay, I see a lot of red dots in front. Oop, there we go. A lot of assault drones. And the level up as well. Why? Well, thank you. Oop, that's an advanced. There we go. I think that I actually, if I destroy these, uh, it might turn those things off. That's my guess, at least. Anything else here? I want to check the corners if there is anything to loot. And check the other side when I'm coming back. There's a lot of quest objects. Huh. Let's see this side first. Okay, so I'm supposed to destroy this. Ah, let's do this. Okay. Think we're good, Commander. else negative contacts commander but yeah I'm actually well not taking any more damage but I guess you take temporal damage there or something Didn't seem anything too serious but yeah it seems that we are supposed to destroy this
Okay. Now the first one is offline. Then let's. I think we're done here. Yeah, as you can see, we are actually taking some damage from those. And I'm quite positive that the destroying this is just completely optional. Negative contacts, Commander. Could be another way to deal with those drones or something. But they are pretty easy to actually kill. They aren't really that threatening. Um, let's go to the next place. So we have... This one. I'm keeping the Mako there as a mark to know which one to go next after this. I think we're done here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we are not done here. It's not, they're just... <sighs> Never mind. Average decryption. Oh. Nothing really good. Hmm. Level 5 heavy armor. Um, could you move? Thank you. And it's time to deal with this again. Oh, actually, they are all advanced assault drones. Anything else? we go. Oh. I don't really know if I should even bother with those. I'll just leave them for now. If anyone knows if there is any point in destroying those, do let me know, but I think it's just uh, for those drones. Kinetic barriers. Oh, no. okay. Okay, they are destroyed. Oh, that's just annoying. <laughs> As you can see, those weapons suck. <laughs> there we go. Then let's go to the next one. I wish he could actually take those sprints a bit more often. Uh, anything else here? Oh. Just you lead. I'll follow. Tally appearing out of nowhere. Don't see anything. Nothing good. Then the last one. This is really actually simple, but those combat drones, they can 
uh, hurt, hurt you quite heavily if you haven't gotten proper gear before. Delina Shepard, reducing the urge popularity, popula population, one shot per time. Christ, I cannot even talk, I have been playing way too long, and been talking way too much. <laughs> My mouth is actually getting a little bit dry here. Oh yeah, and this actually to affect all of these bases. So if I went to the third base now, it would also be there. And like always, I will be checking those weapons mainly later on, unless I see something that really interests me. <laughs> and time to take out some drones again. Oh, crap. <sighs> why has there... Why is there always some freaking rocket launchers? God damn it. Arg. I have to deal that all over again. And what do we learn here, people? Remember to always save. Can you see how hard I'm face palming myself right now? <sighs> I really wish that I either started saving more often or <laughs> got some actually proper way of editing these videos since uh, the main problem is that editing these videos takes forever Especially if it's something like you just want to cut one part and then you have to wait a couple hours for that. Securing uh, as long as I do want to get um, better. Uh, oops. Better stuff for people. Oh god, and then I'm not getting the uh, medical interface. Ah, <sighs> go me. Oh, well, I know that I will be getting those later on too, but it's still annoying. Just oh god, I wish I had saved the one before because I did get that good item. Oh wow. Well. That's better. Nope, it's not. Am 
Night Quarian armor. What is actually what is Tali wearing right now? Hmm. Only a little bit uh, less damage. But yeah. I think it was actually exactly this one that I died to last time. Or they might actually get uh, harder the longer you go on. I mean, I'm taking too much damage here. Okay, good job. Area secured. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they get the rocket launchers once I'm at the last one. That would make, uh, make most sense. And I'm getting this... Yep. I'm getting this uh, strange deja vu that I have been doing this very same thing before. I can only blame myself from doing this mistake. Would have been so much easier to just uh, save before entering here and trying again. But those rocket launcher guys are really getting annoying. Since they seem to be almost one-shotting me. I wonder if there's anything I can do for it. Besides getting more health, obviously. Um, did I get better cryo rounds? Ooh, I actually... Nope. It was level 4. That's the last of them. I wish it was last of them. <laughs> uh, just think about the irony if uh, Commander Shepard died on the Earth after everything she's gone through. Come on, I can't see any position where I could go through. Uh, oh well. Let's save here. Try to sneak behind me. I do not appreciate. Where are you? There we go. Now That's let's the activate the shields and let get, give them a rocket launchers. Sounds like a good idea, don't you think?
Now, just one more to go. Perimeter secured. I really wonder what's the point of those. But yeah, like I said in earlier, it might be just that uh, they deal more damage on the drones or something like that. Yeah. Now for the last one. And yes, I will save this time. Cannot save here. Yeah. So I'll save after I have looted this. Ah, so close. too close to them. I have to get out. Clear. Yes it is. Science station. Hostile spotted. <sighs> Sadly. Now only if um um oh. can Tali take control of oh blocked damn it oh well Actually, I have that. Clear. Get up. One more to go. Take cover. Where is she? Oh, she did. It's a rocket drone. Anyways, that's it's finally done now, so there shouldn't be anything too dangerous here. Oh, good. Ah, oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Exactly what I was hoping for. Oh god. Now this barrier is actually protecting me right now. So I'll wait until I get my... My my things ready. My skills. Come on, almost there. There we go. Oop.
there we go. Now if anyone wants to check out what that means in bi binary code, feel free to do it. Anyways, let's see. Hmm? Specialization. Oh, yeah, nice. This is really good. Um, I think I will be just go for the commando. Yeah. Looks like a solid choice. Uh, I don't think there is actually any points to put on. It, it just uh, um, it just goes on. As for here, Horizons of oil powers and attacks. Nah. Oh yeah, and that assassination. I should also equip that one to increase my damage even further with my sniper rifles. Let's go with that. Clear. Although I should save some points for other stuff. But yeah, it's really good to actually come here since you get loads of bonuses from doing this. So it's not really a waste of time. Seriously, I have no clue how long I have been actually recording. <laughs> I just realized. Oh, can I see it actually from my save files? Hmm. Well, I guess I could be able to do a little bit more here I don't feel like I have been doing almost anything <laughs> 